Good day, sir. I am Ariel Dapar. So, here I am now the, to explain my work, the course outcome of assessment in subject of seamanship 3R. I am first year college in Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation, Fiction Battle Gaze. So, first of, all, first of all, I have three one paper here, sir. So, in the task number one, so in the task number one, we have the types of car types of cargo, the handling procedures, stowage procedure. So in the types of car cargo is we have the steel coil pipe. So it is the type of cargo. So the handling procedures. So the handling procedures is the steel coil pipe are handled by the existing methods of cargo handling such as fork lift, tricks, cranes and deck the de directs. So must usually be handling such as forklift, tricks, grades, and direct source. So, in second is we have the single or double or fourfold lifting points may be provided. May be provided. So we in steel coil pipe we have the single or double fourfold in lifting. So So in the third is and it is important that all those provided should be criticized whenever the loaded bag is left lifted so important important ang pag provide sa utilize utilize whenever the loaded bag is lifted so in the last beans are usually supplied with the sticks fork packets or similar and should always be lifted and handled using those facility correctly so we have to so we have to always lift the and handle the correct facil the facilities so it, next in the steel coal pipe we have the storage procedure and pr storage procedure and put in the storage pr storage procedure is we have the coils are usually showed at worship and locked locked and with one or more k coils so in the course we have showed the uh, art worships which is the the one the whole locks with more case coils so it when carried more than one row high the weight of the top coil power down to the ship structure through the points where the coil touch so when it when it comes to power down the ship structure so the points were well co the coil where will touch so in the when stored on general cargo ships it ships it is advisable to keep ibc ibc's separate from other forms of break bulk cargo so it is sir so it is advisable to keep the ibc's separate I mean the other form of break bulk cargo so in the map tutorial recommendation for handling should be followed at all times so we have to follow all at all times regarding hoisting method that like stacking securing and lifting points so we have to follow this stacking securing and lifting points so next we have the uh, another type of cargo is drum of lubricating oil so in that drum lubricating oil handling procedure is for handling procedures is for handling normally normally uses hope slings nets strays for lifting on off on or off the ship so this kind of cargo we have to use the slings nets or strays for the lifting on off of the ships so we have to use the mostly are the slings so metal drums may usually be gripped using drums handling attachment or mechanical equipment which grip the top rim of the drum so it have the mechanical equipment that could connect to the slings or nets so rope or rope slings or nets so in the core by the operator is often needed to avoid puncturing the drums when gripping or carry them this way so we need to do this we have to needed to avoid the puncturing of the drums so we have that is safety net. so in the side clamps and barrel handles are also standard attachment so for mechanical handling equipment and are used it drums and barrels are sufficiently robust to take the this type of treatment so we keep 
the drugs and violence to keep out on the robots so to take this type of this treatment so in the storage procedure so we have the storage procedure in the drums stored on their side should not have other cargo stored on top so in here so we have to should we have not to have the cargo stored on top so drums holding liquid should always be at the bottom of the store with a bunny of lead up more so the drum of the liquid liquid is always on the bottom so as a general rule fiberboard drums should always be applied so the fiber board drums should be applied so when more than one tire or metal drums are are to be stored particularly into the container where vibration may be experienced that during inland transport it is prudent to be lay soft damage like it is wood wood hardwood hardboard chipboard um, between each tire so there's a more than one tire in metal jam so it is uh, the wood hardboard and chipboard so and we proceed in task two task two we have here in the task two sir is this fruit loading and discharging procedure so in fruit and vegetables are living and so respire taking an oxygen from the air and producing carbon dioxide as noted in this section of this temperature control this process involved the production of heat hence the need for temperature to control so we in this paragraph we have to control the temperature of the fruits and vegetables so it will remain fresh and healthy so for short voyages of no more than three or four days Fruit pick at the right time, i.e. not the already ripe, can be carried without refrigeration. And general, all fruits and vegetables must be properly ventilated even when carried at ambient temperatures. So, in fruit should not be stored with any other cargo that might pick up stained G floor, tea, and coffee, and etc. So, in this paragraph, so for short voyage, is we have no more than three of four days in the picking the fruits is we have the standard for right type to picking up the fruits for example that it is not already ripe then that can be carried to the ship without refrigeration so in so we have to not store the other cargo that might pick up the thing so like floor the coffee and etc. So in the carriage temperature for fresh produce fall into the two clearly defined categories. Produce that is tolerant of low temperature is carried in the temperature range between five degrees Celsius and plus zero point zero five plus degrees Celsius. Most vegetable consists largely of water, so it is consists largely of water and those have a freezing point closer to zero so the freezing point here is the closing place closer to zero than most fruits so it is more cold than fruits so consequently consequently the carriage temperature for this table must not fall below zero so you have to you have to put the temperature for vegetable must not fall to zero so that it will remain healthy so carriage is affected at temperature near the freezing point of the Produce taking into account of sensitivity sensitivity of temperature control equipment to avoid freezing part of the cargo cargo. Typical examples are apples, pears, cherries, and kiwi fruit and most vegetables. So these are the examples of that have the sensitivity of control equipment to avoid the freezing part of the cargo. So in this paragraph, so we have to con control the the temperature for the fruits and vegetable to make the tolerance of the product so in the task number three we proceed in the task number three in task number three we have heavy indivisible load cargo checklist so in this time we have to do that here are some load cargo checklist so in the 3.1 Pre-planning at transport vital information needed. So, 
first of all we have to pre plan we have to pre plan before the to transport without information needed so first of all we have to check the weight and site and construction of the load so we have to check the weight or what what kind of the ship is contract to the load so in b next what support points of the loads are required or are permissible so it is like a permissible or it is support by the loads it is it is the standards so in the in the letter c the maximum load of each specific support point which the design would tolerate so this should be tolerate and and the load should not be able to more than enough the maximum load of each specific support point so and then letter d where where maybe lifting attachment be made of the load and how many to be made so we have to lifting the attachment on how many to be made of the loads so that's the part of it so in the letter e what securing points are available available on load and where can they look at located so these points we have to secure the points on the available of this load on the and we have to find out the their location in letter f is the speed of movements of the load in any way critical so we have to find out the critical movements of the loads in, by speed of movement by movement speed so in G, letter g what additional lifting equipment is required to handle the load what is the what its weight who provides it does it travel with our load so here is we have to choose the right lifting equipment to require to handle the load what is the weight what is the hoop will provide and does it travel with the loads so that's the answer so pre preparation in, in 3.2 preparation in cargo handling such as tackling and securing especially prevention of vertical and horizontal movement storage requirement so second we have to have a preparation the checklist of preparation and cargo handling such as tackling and securing especially in prevention of vertical and horizontal movement storage equipment so <clears throat> in letter a we have the traditional heavy lift directs are used which are themselves supported by the mass or samsung so we have to check the traditional heavy lift directs or used which are themselves supported by the mass so in this supports unless sustainable sustainability suitability stephen should be themselves supported by not less than three stays so it should be not less than three days it stays one leading four and up so they have one leading and four and up and the other is to each other side founding an angle of about 45 degrees with the former stay so it has the 45 degrees with the former stay and also with the shroud <coughs> should be net up taint and sketching screws securely stop so it should not be net up taint and sketching screws stop in the taco <coughs> sling should be made up of the appropriate wire or chain to provide an adequate safe working load so we have to appropriate wire or chain to uh, provide the adequate safe working load so in the, and of the connect length so that they do not damage the cargo so that we have and do not require the shortening because of the too long address so we have to make sure that the length should be enough to the drift so in C <clears throat> in letter C vertical and horizontal movement so we have to check the vertical and horizontal movement <clears throat> because care careful which is essential so we have in heavy drag link should be lifted on back heads and dick heads which is to to prevent buckling so we have to heavy drag the links to prevent the buckling so in letter d thick film water bearing so the load should be positioned in such a manner that heavy point loading is not exerted on deck or ta tank top plating in between frames so this should be checked by the water bearings to be positioned in a manner in heavy point that 
exerted <coughs> in the each of these tanks. So in the 3.3, so loading and discharging operation, the ship should be applied when loading or discharging a heavy lift and have adequate stability. Clear lines of communication should be established between all those involved in the operation discharging. So we have to discharge. Similar precautions should be taken or describes under loading. So we have to underloading. So thank you and that's all sir.